All right, all right, I'm back again. And um, yeah, let's view that blood project. So the last time we tried it, we didn't have the expected results, mainly because the backend was not providing the expected results. However, in our last episode, we went back to the drawing board, we recreated the backend, and this time around, I think we're actually ready to have a befitting blood frontend. So for this also, I'm going to be utilizing Dribble, and here you get inspiration on how your frontend to be. And other than me being the frontend developer, try to get the inspiration, I'm going to get the inspiration for V0, because we are still going to be using V0. And the reason why we are still going to be using V0 is because I believe we were unable to utilize its full potential the last time. So let's make it get back on its feet and do the job that it's meant to do. So that's about that. So here is the server running already and here is our endpoints laid out. So what I'm going to do to just make things go smoothly, I'm going to create some categories. I'm also going to create some blog posts. So when we start designing the front end, it's going to come out just like we want it, okay? So without any further ado, I'm going to get on the site and I'm going to create a couple of blog posts as well as the category and we'll come back here to utilize the zero to generate what we need. All right, all right. Um, so utilizing Postman, ChatGPT, and every other resources I could lay my hands upon, I've been able to create this couple of categories. So I have seven of them. Um, we can take a look at what categories I've created. And also, here is what my ChatGPT history looks like. It was what I used to create the category and as well, it was what I used to spawn up all the posts I've created. So let's go back here and see the post I've created. So coming to posts, so we have this. I think we have 11 in total, as you can see from the counts. And according to our pagination instruction, we can show 20 items at a time. And that's why we don't have a nest value or a previous value. So yeah, this is what we'll be working with. And the intention here is to give V0 adequate contest of what we want to create. So now we have a UI contest. We have the value contest itself. And with that, we are ready to prepare the adequate prompt to generate the front end of our dream. So yeah, let's get onto that as well. All right, so I have prepared the prompts and let's go over the prompts so that we have an idea what the prompt looks like and what we are expecting. So the intention here is to provide adequate context so that it knows all that it needs to know to be able to generate adequate uh, information. And I think um, just on that note, I'm going to put one more instruction that this is going to be strictly TypeScript. So it should consider creating all the types and all that is needed. All right, so I've put that information here. So let's go over it once again. I have pasted all the image reference I obtained from the Dribble contest here. And um, here is the prompt itself. I want to create a blog project using React, Tailwind CSS, Globus.scss if necessary, then and UI. So the UI would reference the image shared above. Only a not in user can create a post. Each blog post must select a category. Only a lot in user can make a comment. And thinking out loud now, I think I've not provided the information about how the comment would be retrieved. So yeah, I'm still going to go back and do that one and we'll continue from there. All right, so I've provided the information for the comments and we can come back here. So um, yeah, here is the note here. Note this is strictly TypeScript, so we'll create your types and all. Then I share the base URL, which is going to be like the base domain. Then for the category, I share what the category URL is and the operations that can be performed. So this is a part operation. And I share the sample data. So this is to note that this is the form the data is going to be returned. Okay. Then when you are trying to create a category, this is the payload that it takes. I don't expect the system we are going to create to have the path to create category, but just to deal with all the contests it's going to need. Then for the posts, um, I shared the same information and I told it that it's going to be a local field or slug. So slug is what you use to get a particular post. Then here is the sample data. And as you can see, the sample data is a form of paginated information. So that should be considered as well. 
Then I share the pillow. So this is the structure of the pillow that would the sense. Then I went to the loving information. So I'm providing all this information to ensure that what we are copying might not necessarily lead early tricking to come out to work it. So that's the expectation. Then finally, I mentioned here that that's, it should take note of the page if editor. So with all this done, let's make the request and see what the result is going to be. So here we can see that it's created the first few parts. So it created an index for the types. So we get to see all the types that it has defined here. Then it created an alt contest, as you can see here as well. Then finally, it created the logging form. So everything is not completed and it's saying, okay, would you like me to continue with the blog listing now? All that things. And yeah, I'll just edit to continue. So while it continues, we can start setting up our project with the few it has already created. So here we have types in this .ts. So let's come back to our VS Code. And this is the same project from last time, but this time it's fresh out of the box taken. So yeah, let's deal with all these. So we have components, we have lib, lib is created by Shasien. So we have the utils information here. Okay. So also we have other UI information from Shasien. So I think we can come here, create a new folder and add blog, just as suggested by Fizero. So now we want to add the types in this .ts. So according to the description, the types is also going to be a folder. So let's create the folder. So it's complaining about any and yep, we can decide not to use any. So we really don't need this information so we can remove those. And this is expressed as a programmer, probably someone that is not into program might not know. So yeah, to some extent, I still feel, even though the AI is a capable of doing so much, you still need some knowledge of programming to be able to completely interpret it. So that's something to look. So yeah, we have the types. Let's move on to the next information. So we have the contest as well. So let's copy that. So using client does not really matter considering that we are using just React. So yeah, we don't need this information. So again, someone that is not uh, a program enthusiast or rather a coder or an experienced developer might not know that information. So here we are creating a contest folder and we are creating odds, days and base. However, looking at the fact that we are creating a blog project, I don't think having a blog folder is necessary. So I think we can just bring out the types into the source. And yeah, we can move away with this. So back into the D0 interface. So here we want to create a contest folder. So contests. I believe it's Pura. And um, we are going to have auth dash contests. So yeah, this should be a folder, not a file. Contests. Let's rename that. Then in here we are going to have opt dash contests. Dot ts, I believe. I'm verifying. Yeah, it's dot tsx. So let's do that. And we paste the value obtained from it. So it looks like there is no error. And we are good on that. So this is complaining because it prefers the oops to be in the separate form, which we need to get that with a concordant here. So yeah, that's something to note. So you can correct that, but we won't bother too much on that because we are not actively beauty. We're just copying this from somewhere else. Okay, then here we have the components or the loading form. So we have components already. Now we have to create a folder for the auth, then we have nothing from it. So components, create a new folder for the auth. Then finally, we have the login form. So new file, login dash form, dot zip sets. 
So let's copy the form. Okay. So there seems to be an error. So it's complaining that this is never used. We can have an underscore there, but it's still something that we can remove it entirely. But it's not complaining that we have to provide that information. So let's put the error here and just load it. So technically, if you are creating a big project, you should have a logger that you can use to trace out your error. Okay, so we've corrected the error for this as well, and we've set up the initial part of the system. Looks like there is no error. Let's just walk through once more. So we have the contest here. Everything seems to be fine. So yeah, let's move on to the next stage. So we have the component block host grid. Let's copy that. So this is what it looks like. Not looking like the UI, but to some extent, it gets the idea. So let's copy this. So this is within the components and it's part of the blog dash post dash grid CHS. So I think the naming is quite important considering that it's also going to be referencing all these contents. So this is within components blog dash post dash grid dash dot CSS. Let's confirm that once again. I was right. So pasting this, let's see what the issue is. So, yep, this is considering that we are using Nest.js when we are not. So we would remove all this and make the necessary correction. Then also we need to install pagination from Shard.cn. So you can come to the Shard.cn page here to see how things is done. So go to the components. So what we are looking for is pagination, which is this. Then you can install it using this command. So here we can stop the server for now and paste the command. So while that is going on, I'm going to come to fix the issues with image and um, link. So link this time around is going to be coming from realtor.dom. And we have to add them as the href param as two. Okay, so that's fixed. So then the next is the image. So we can just use the regular image here. And for some reason, that seems to be correct out of the box. So this one also is going to be two. And we fix that. Looking good. So let's override button. Okay, we are good on that. So moving on to the next, come back to V0. So we have the layouts. So the layout information, app layout, app pages, is considering the Next.js setup, even though that's not what we are working with. However, based on the experience we have with all this, we know what to expect. And as a result of that, that's what we are going to do. So um, that means we are still going to undo our routing because the expectation is that Next.js has routing out on the box. So most of what has been set up has been kind of considered. So the routing structure have been considered already. So yeah, let's fix this um, layout. Or better still, we can tell V0 that we are actually operating on a Vite React uh, framework and it should move away from the Next.js uh, flow. So actually, it looks like it's recreating things. And yeah, we can follow through with that. So now we have the app.ts. Let's copy that information. Come down to the app.ts sets and paste that here. So most of these components don't exist yet. We are going to create all those. So this is expected from contest. We have contest already. And we can rename this to be alt contests. Yes. So do we have an auth provider here? Let's verify here. We do. I think the structure we have here initially should still work. So 
There shouldn't be much going on. So let's verify. So the out front test, was it adjusted? Yeah, I think it's okay. But just to be sure, let's copy the same thing we have from here. Come back here and replace. Yeah, I think nothing much changed. So we still need all this information. Let's, let's follow through with what is created. So we have the components header. So we can copy this. So we create a component header. Okay, so we have the header, then we'll move to the next. We have the footer. So it's a set of the foundation, but we need it to continue. So let's have continue. So now let's get the home page. So source pages home. So let's pocket this. So we need a new folder within our source, and this is going to draw pages. Let's just perform the structure. Okay, the page is in small letters, so let's write that. So then within pages, we have the home page, which is in tattoo. Home does CFX. And all home is doing is just setting this up. So now we need to change this to fit in this structure. So let's rename this. Log posts groups. So let's get the info. So this is blood post bridge. Let's copy everything. So coming back to blog post grid, there's some date and it looks like everything is correct. So we have the header, we can set this well. We have the footer, we can set that. We have the home. So we are left with the login, quiz, post, and post detail. So let's do that. So here's the login. So login is within pages. Let's copy this. So back within pages, rename order. We want to create a new file. New file, login.txx. So we have an error with login. Let's see what's going on. So yeah, let's load this error. So console.load error. Okay. So now we can update this part as well. So now we have create post and post detail. So pages create posts. So the error seems to be something, let's see. Yeah, same error situation. Okay. Let's fix the app. And finally, the post detail. Okay. So the error is sure DNS fix this. All right. So and with that, I think we have fixed all the errors. So the login form, I'm not sure if that was still needed. I can remove this. Mm. So the types, yeah, I think probably. Yeah, let's leave out that things and let's start the server this time around. So yeah, dev. Let's see what it looks like. All right. So as you can see, it did get the blog posts. And the only issue we can see here is that the... So this is the recent blog post. And for this particular stuff, we can kind of determine what the recent blog post would look like. And here we have all blog posts under it. And I think we have two pages, which is not working, which you would need to correct. Or to some extent, I think we have things in the right place. So let's try to log in with a with our credentials. So that's from here as you the login. 
Okay, so the login works, but we need to correct the states when you are logged in, and you need to correct the title as well. So let's read more. We have the created ads information here. So it didn't show the uh, what do you call it, the category. Yeah, we could tell it to do that as well. All right, so we add an issue when we try to view the active post. So let's see what happened. So we try to get the comments, but comments.map is not valid because comments is also going to come as a result. So let's fix this as well. So let's look for where this is happening. So comment.map. So fetch comments. So the comments itself is not just the data, but data does results. So this should be something like results into comments. So this will now be data that results. So I think that was the fix we need. And during that, I see that we fixed this already. So here is the comments we add and yeah, that worked. So I think after we refreshed, we were able to establish the fact that we are logged in. So the information here is that we should log out. So if I click logged out and I refresh, I shouldn't be able to comment. Yeah, so you must be logged in to comment. So to some extent, I think all of this is working. All that is needed is just some touch to make things work perfectly. So with all that said, um, I'll be drawing the curtains of today's video here. And in the next one, we are going to even explore more projects. And even though we have AI tools to help us create our front end, we can easily find limitations there. Which means in the next video, we are going to be doing things by ourselves. And we'll be exploring a different um, journey entirely. Block seems to be simple enough to not have too much things to think about. So that's why we are going to be exploring e-commerce next. So we are going to be creating an e-commerce platform using Juice as our API and backend creator. And instead of exploring these AI tools, we are going to create the front end ourselves. I will still try to utilize all these AI tools to make our work faster, but most of what we'll be doing would be from our thought process. So if you care to see that, Try to leave a comment below and also like and share this video to get other people to see it and hopefully they enjoy it as well. Finally, if you've not subscribed to the channel, I would encourage us to do so because that is going to encourage us to do more as well. So see you in the other video and bye for now.